So in the previous session, we have seen what are structures. Uh, in this session, we'll be seeing what is a linked list. Okay. So before starting the linked list, you should know why do we use linked list. So if you see arrays, in case of arrays, the size of the memory which we need to allocate is already defined, right? That means whenever we write the program, we have to specify what is the size of the data which we want to store into, into this array. Okay. And let us suppose in while the program is getting executed, in that point of time, you find that you need more space to execute uh, this complete program or you need to, more space to save some data into this array. Okay. That means arrays does not allow dynamic memory allocations, right? So in that case, whenever we need a dynamic memory allocation, we use this topic called as linked list. Okay. So linked list provide dynamic memory allocations. In the previous session, we have seen what are structures. So in this session, we'll see what is a node of a linked list. So the, the node of a linked list is created using structures. Okay. And these structures are basically self-referential structures. That means these structures are going to point itself. So it, these, um, we'll see, we'll see what are self-referential structures because as, uh, we have seen in the previous session, I told you what, what is a self-referential structure. So I'm going to refresh that topic a little bit and then we'll see what, uh, what is the structure of a node of the linked list. And then, um, we'll, we'll see what are the operations which we can perform on the linked list. Okay. So, uh, initially let us see what is a node of a linked list how to define the node of a linked list using a structure, right? So th the basic definition is we write struct node. Okay. And then you specify what, what is the kind of data you want to store. Okay. Then if you want to store integer data, then you write int information or data which you want to store. And then you write struct node star link or star next. Okay, so this is a basic node of a linked list. So if you see this, then if you declare a variable of this structure, then I do struct node p. That means this p variable is of type this structure. Okay, this node, right? And if you see uh, this structure, then you'll find out that this p is having two parts. So the first part is the information part. And the second part is the next part, right? And this P is this variable and this next part is only going to point to another data of the same type. That means this next part is going to store the address, right? And this information part is going to store some information, which in this case is integer, right? So in this case, it will be storing some integer number. Let us suppose the number is one. Okay. Now in some cases you will find out that they use different names to this instead of info, they, they have written data that int data or in case of next, they have written link, right? So both name doesn't matter, but structure of the node does matter. Okay. Now, for example, I can make a structure of the node, something like this also struct node. And in this node, we are having character, uh, data or character information. Okay. And then we are doing struct node star next. Okay. That means this is the structure of a node for the linked list. And this node is going to store a character data, right? In the previous node was going to store uh, information, which is of type integer, but this node is going to store a character data. Now, if I define a variable like this struct node Q, and then I do to store, uh, this means that this is a node Q. Okay. This is the variable Q, which is of type node. And then this is the data part. And this is the next part. This data part is going to store the data, which is a character, right? So this can store data, which is a, B, C, D, and so on. And this Q part is going to store the address of the next node, right? Or some other uh, variable, which is of type node. Okay. Now we can also define a structure of a linked list, something like this. If you want to store multiple types of data, in the one single node, we can write struct node. And then if I want to store a data, which is of type integer plus data, which is of type character into one single node, then I can write int, uh, data one. Okay. Just saying this is a variable named data now, data one. And then I'm doing character data two. And then I'm doing float data three. 
okay and then i'm doing struct node star link or star next okay here i'm using link because in the previous examples i've used next so i can also use next here so does name doesn't matter because if you want if you have written some name then you have to follow that name in our programs but this name is only this link or this next is only specifying that we are going to store the address of the next node here okay and if you see if i declare a variable of this uh, type of node then i do struct node let us suppose the variable is m that means this is the variable m where we are having different parts the first part is data1 part which is going to store an integer number the second part is data2 part which is going to store the character variable character something and third part is float part which is the data3 part okay and then we are having this link part and this link part is going to store the address of the next node so in the data part we can store an integer number let us suppose we stored 7 here in the data 2 part we can store a character let us, let us suppose we have stored a here in the data 3 part we can store a floating point number so let us suppose we stored 7.49 here and this link part can point to the next node okay so there can be lot of different types of nodes a uh, lot of different types of structure which we can use uh, we can use in a linked list right and even uh, this this type of linked list is called a single linked list because it is only having one single pointer right now later uh, we, we are going to study what are the circular linked list and what are the double linked list right we can have different types of linked list like single linked list double linked list and circular linked list but initially i'm going to cover what is a single linked list okay so now let us dive into this concept and let us see what are the basic uh, building blocks of this uh, linked list and plus what are the operations which can perf we can perform into this linked list okay